settle in for the top 10 Daniela D'Angelo moments. If you follow the shooting sports, you likely follow Daniela. This teenager has been competing for four years. Let's watch this USPSA classifier. The trained eye will note she takes the paper first, then a quick reload, then the steal. Stiff competition in Arizona, but D'Angelo's up for it, usually finishing in the top 10. Not only unusual for a teenage girl, but unusual for a pistol competitor. D'Angelo also competes in three gun. Weighing in at under 95 pounds, D'Angelo competes with full-size firearms. That's a 12-gauge shot in. Those are heavy bird shot loads. Now for a quick mag change. Two slug hits at 100 yards. No thank you, Pappy. Her exquisite movements are no mistake. Every footfall, every step is well thought out. Don't forget, this is a timed sport and a good competitor will have a great stage plan. Imagine the pressure as the competitors are given only five minutes to walk through the stages. That steel falls like a CNN reporter at a Trump rally. Don't blink or you'll miss the reload. There it was. Now she moves forward onto a stomp pad and that begins a swinging target. She takes only two shots. Let's find out how she did. First, the signature bullet catch. I have a sneaking suspicion that target is more than neutralized. Wow. Thanks for the rebuttal, Steve. Deadly, beautiful and funny. She's a triple threat. With two shots to neutralize the paper, I count 14 here. This is Daniela's typical Thursday night routine. Hard shots here. Let's see if she slows down. Not really. That piece of black hardcover really only gives her head shots. 901. Let's see how you did. It's difficult to imagine what it's like to compete against this young lady. I'm glad I don't. Thanks for the rebuttal, Steve. Fast forward to any Tuesday night and you'll find Daniela on the other side of town. Blazing steel at Rio Solodo. Her movements, her shot placement are second to none. And of course, there's Daniela's trademark bullet catch. There it was. These stages are fast and a bit of a memory game. Her reloads match the speed of her shooting. Don't blink. I can't help but wonder, does she have a horrific shooting face? Eh? No grimace. Seven. Seven. If you can't have a bit of fun with Da, what's the point? There's that classic Daniela scoring again. I'd hate to be one of the 198. Watching her run her AR-15, a Patriot Ordnance Factory, Renegade Plus is a real pleasure. Risky move there, taking those last few shots as she leans out. But it pays off. Now a few shots at 300. Done. Huh, Jesus. <laughs> How far are those targets, yo? They're about 20 yards. Goodbye. Freaking awesome. How far are those targets? That's Nick Saidi, one of her many mentors and trainers. Her social media team has an obvious sense of humor. Not her first time with a machine gun. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? She's squeezing off three rounds per target. No simple task. Oh, it's empty. Arizona is nice famous for its gunfights. Let's travel across the state to Tucson and see how Daniela handles this fight for the win. 
An unloaded start. And she does it in under a second. Who comes up with these stages? The steel activates swinging targets and moving targets. And Daniela makes quick work in under eight seconds. What is this? Shooting from railroad tracks. I must say, my childhood was very different. Imagine the hand-eye coordination it takes to move with such skill, speed and accuracy. Another lightning fast reload on the move. And there's the target view. Matt, I would hate to be a zombie when Daniela finds out the world's come to an end. Damn dog. Damn dog indeed. Well put, da. It's an EMG Customs by Eddie Garcia. Daniela's 38 Super. Runs like a top. This is one of the most oh, anyone can run a race gun, but seen. watch Daniela handle the recoil in this good old government 45. That's freedom ringing if I've ever heard it. Daniela aspires to greatness, hoping to someday be a lawyer. Good luck in barrister school. But for now, she's taking these steel targets to school. She competes in open division, which means anything goes. She reloads quickly with our Redondo accessories and then safes and dumps her Beretta 1301. Now, on to long range rifle. Quick work of the close dozen paper targets and then it's steady as she goes. I can only imagine the feeling when that range officer screams out the hits. I should say, this helicopter's seen better days. But Daniela's shooting career is just getting off the ground. There was a miss. Rare in this young lady's universe. What's this? Pistol caliber carbine? Is there nothing Daniela can't do? I recognize that blue accent of beauty. That's a JP Rifles GMR-15, chambered in 9mm. Does that reload slow? Yes. Now that's a father's love. If that was slower, da, watch this. Take that, old man. That stage win means she beat you. This is the FN Mark 16. It has a very slow cyclic rate. Time for another fun break in Daniela's vigorous training cycle. Let's get some. Man, that sure beats a smoke break. Another nice thing about this is you don't have to use a sight. It's more like shooting a fire hose. You're what am I seeing? You're gonna spray That's the dog. a Dylan M134 minigun. Now I'm really dog. jealous. And that's how we do miniguns. We just use the ammo and the, the either the tracer or the impacts to, to aim. So. Pull those triggers. Yes! Oh, I can't tell you how high this ranks on me bucket list. Look at the truck rocking back and forth from the recoil. God save the Queen. They don't even have targets. So you've got a minigun. You don't need them. You shoot the mountains. Now that's an expensive day at the range. Take my money. If you're like me, you can watch Daniela shoot all day. But we've got to bring this ready? to a close. Stand by. Here's a bit of steel music. Nine steel targets from the draw. And it's all over in under five seconds. Trust me, Daniela, we'll be following you closely. Two thumbs up, me dear.